Hi and uh, welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to be learning about how to print the spreadsheet showing the formulas and functions. That's an interesting one. So here we are back again on our spreadsheet. Um, quick look at the question of the day. Looking at question number 12, asking us to print this spreadsheet showing the formulas and functions. Now, looking at this spreadsheet that you have created with me, starting from lesson one, if you have forgotten, please uh, do revisit the lessons at any time you need to because we created this full spreadsheet together, like I said, starting from lesson one. Now, at the moment, as you have been typing all these formulas and functions, do you recall from lesson one, you created this formula? If you look at the formula bar, C3 multiplied by D3, uh, all the way, and then you created this fun function, a sum function, you created this subtraction formula, you did all these lovely functions, the average function, the minimum function, the maximum function, the count function, or the count A function, if you recall. Do you remember all this? Of course you do. And the most important or the most difficult one, the if function that you did, and the lovely um, round function here at the bottom. Now this question is asking us for you to print a, print a copy of this, displaying all these formulas and functions on the screen, so then you can print a copy of it. That's the question. So how do we do this, now that we have understood what it is asking us to do? Very simple, and I have mentioned this in a previous lesson as well, very briefly, but I'm just going to explain this a little bit more in this lesson, since this is the question at hand. The way we display the formula, we go to the formulas ribbon just up here, and we go ahead and we click on it. And then in the group called Formula Auditing, in this group, you'll see there's a lovely option here that says Show Formulas. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And look at that, you get every single function and formula that you have typed in on the screen. So you can see your formulas there, you can see the sum function that you've typed in, you can see the subtraction formula, the average, minimum, maximum, count a, round, and the if function. Now this one, I cannot see all of it, so I need to widen this column. Um, otherwise, printing a copy of it will cut off part of this function, and that's not a good idea. The whole point of displaying the formula and functions and printing a copy of it is so that you've got a printed version of all your formulas and functions. Or if you're in class, to hand in to your tutor for marking purposes. So your tutor can see that you have typed in every single formula correctly and the functions. Um, otherwise, you could have very easily maybe got a calculator out and if I just take the formulas off, you could have easily just typed in the answers without using any formulas or functions. So one of the main purposes of displaying formulas and functions and printing a copy of it is so that you yourself can verify what you have typed in. And if it was some sort of assessment or you're in class and your tutor needs to have a look, this is a lovely way of presenting your work by displaying and showing the formulas and functions and then printing a copy of this. So this uh, was a good lesson. Um, I think this will uh, make you realize how easy it is to display all your hard work on the screen and it does um, give you a moment of uh, achievement 
that makes you feel good seeing everything on the screen that you have been working on since lesson one with myself um, a while back now so um, I'm going to leave it here for this lesson and uh, lastly like and share this lesson and I will see you over in the next lesson until then take care and goodbye